Hello guys, are you still using Nano for a text editor? Then it's time to get in touch with, in my opinion, the only text editor on Linux, which is called Vim. In this video, I will give you a quick start guide with all important things to know. And trust me, you will get much more efficiently with Vim, unlike with Nano. So I would say let's start. At first, we have to open a existing text document or create a new text document. Creating a new text document is very easy. You just type in Vim and type in the path of the new document you want to create. If you want to open a document which already exists, just type in now the path to it. In my case, I copied the etc fs tab file that we can have a little bit fun. And so I would say, yeah, let's start with Vim fs tab. At first, we are starting with our text document in the top. Then these, then these tilts are marking that the file is in the end there. But we could also create new lines in a second. And we have a cursor here, which we can navigate with the arrow keys or otherwise with H, J, K and L if you want. But this is only working if you are not in the edit mode because Vim has different modes. By default, we are in a mode in which we can select some text. If your Vim installation does it, for example, on Debian, you will get automatically to the visual mode. I personally don't like the visual mode at all, but you can disable it with the config file. I will put you a link to it in the video description. But on Ubuntu, for example, this works quite good already. You can select text and, for example, copy it. But how can we now edit this file? We can edit this file by typing the I key. Then we are in the insert mode. We see this on the left bottom corner here. And now I can just navigate like in any other text editor or terminal text editor and write some things down. For example, I can just create a line. Hello world. And you see, okay, it, uh, it works quite good. But uh, yeah, this is the easiest way. If you want to get out of the insert mode, you could press the escape key and now this insert mode is gone. And now you are, I would say, in the command mode of Vim. And for example, you can type in different commands by typing in a colon and then you can define the command after it. The command for saving is, for example, W. And now if I press enter, then this file has been written. We see this here and yeah, now the file is saved. How get we out of this complete editor and back to our normal bash? You can type in colon and Q. And if I now press enter, then we are gone from it. But you can get even faster. For example, if I head over to my FS tab file again, and if I switch into the insert mode by pressing I and change a bit text, and then I want just to save and quit this file very, very quickly, I press escape, colon, W, and then right behind it, a Q, and then I could press the enter key. And then Vim automatically saves and quits after it, which makes it really, really fast. But if I open up my Vim file again and I'm doing some terrible things here and I don't want to save anything but just want to quit, then if I press escape and then colon Q, then Vim doesn't let me quit because it sees, okay, we have unsafe changes and warns me that if I quit this now, the changes are lost. In my case, I want this to do, so I could uh, press colon Q and then a exclamation mark behind it. And then it says Vim, okay, I want to quit Vim now and don't want to save any changes. That is also very important. I press enter and then we are gone for this. So, okay, now we can open up Vim, switch into the insert mode by pressing I and then creating some text and for example, save this by typing escape colon WQ and save this boy 
okay this doesn't make any sense so let us come to other very important features and this is by deleting a whole line how can you do this you can just do this if you are on your command mode so you aren't in insert mode and then you can just press d and also a d so double d and after it then the line where the cursor is is deleted so i can just press d here double d and also press double d for example here and if i deleted something too much like in this case there's also a quite handy undo function in vim which is just the key u so if i press u then every time i press u we get one back that is very very nice if i pressed u one time too much then i can redo my undo <laughs> by typing in Control r and then i'm heading forward in my history this could be useful ex especially the u key Honestly, I didn't use the control R key until now at any time, I guess, but the U key is very important. So yeah, now we can delete some lines. We can edit everything, but how it is if we want to delete more lines, if we, for example, want to delete all these common blocks, we have to count these lines from our cursor we want to delete in my case these are one two three four five six seven eight lines so i press the key eight i'm just typing the number in you can see this here and now i'm pressing double d after that then all eight lines are disappeared that is very useful i can also undo this by pressing the u key again and um, yeah now we can delete some more lines how is it for example by copying a line so i want to copy for example these both lines here what can i do i can of course just select these lines right click it select copy go with my cursor down there and just paste it but there's a better way in vim i highly recommend and that is that is analog to the double d command it is the double y command so if i press double y now i copied one line and if i head over to the bottom and now press one time the p button for paste then this line is pasted again but i can also copy more lines at once it is just as easy like the delete command so i type in the number of lines from my cursor i want to copy in this case it is two lines so i press a two and now double y you can see this down there again now i press double y after that and i can paste it in the bottom here by moving my cursor down and just press p and now multiple lines are inserted or copied in this case so this is also a very important feature also a very handy feature is searching for words you can very easily search by pressing the slash key please keep in mind that you also have to be in command mode so you are not in insert mode this is insert mode on the left bottom corner but you don't have to be in the insert mode just press escape and then you can press the slash forward slash and then you type in the word you want to search for example uuid and yeah i want to search for uuid but these uuids are in capital letters so this is case sensitive so if i type in uuid in capital letters we see the first occurrence is marked in the text and then it is right important then you press one time the enter key and now you are in search mode of uuid if you want to get to the next occurrence of uuid you can press n for next and then the cursor jumps to the next occurrence of uuid in this case and i can go with this game as many times i want and if i want to get one uuid back then i can press shift n so a big n and then we are moving backwards in the search mode of uuid if you want to get out of this mode i personally 
go into the insert mode shortly and then press escape to get back to the edit mode. Surely there is a nicer step to do this, but honestly, I don't search too much in my documents. So this, so this is fine for my case. So now we are almost finished with our Vim video. We are knowing a lot of things now, but how can we search and replace for some phrases? This also works in Vim very, very easily. I move up my cursor to the first line and then I'm ensuring that I'm in the command mode and then I press colon percentage small s and then a forward slash. Now I can type in my search word, for example, UUID. You see it is also marked in this case. And then I press the slash again. And now I can type in my phrase I want to replace. For example, UUID in lower letters. Then I'm typing in a forward slash again. And then I press enter and now Vim replaces all occurrences of UUID in this case with UUID in small letters. I can undo this by just typing in U and then we are before our changes. This is very helpful. Just again, I press colon percentage S, then a forward slash, then I'm typing in, for example, UUID again. And if I only want to replace the first occurrence, I can type a forward slash after my replace word and then I'm typing in for example the C sign here and then I'm pressing enter and then this one asks us if you want to replace this marked occurrence here um, and then you can see okay with yes no all the others I honestly don't know in this case. I'm honestly you won't need them at all and in this case I could for example press N for no and then we are heading to the next occurrence and then I can press for example Y for yes and then you can define which occurrence should be replaced. If I want to abort this I press Q and then this is aborted. Yeah that was it for today. I press undo in this case to get my fstub file back again. Please don't do this at your real fstub file. I just copied it and um, messing up with the fstub file isn't good at all. If I for example want to delete all lines until the bottom of my cursor I press one and then many many zeros and then two deletions. So I would say in this case please delete the next 100,000 lines or until the end of the file and I press double D and now my FS tab file is clean now. I press escape, press colon WQ and now I'm finished with Vim and hopefully I could teach you the basics of Vim. There are many, many more modes and keys you can learn from Vim. There's a cool site which is called Vim Adventure in which you can learn Vim in a small adventure game. I put you the link into the video description. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Bye.